السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله In some of the Muslim countries curfew has been imposed some have partial curfew and some uh, in some countries uh, people are advised to stay home uh, as a precautionary measure uh, and that can become distressful to people you feel imprisoned uh, which is a test uh, add to this the fact that many people master the matter of spreading rumors anything they hear good or bad and mostly is bad uh, now what this does it, it makes people's uh, psychological state uh, weakened. People become anxious, depressed. And as doctors say, depression and anxiety and, and stress weakens uh, a person's immune system. And when your immune system weakens, uh, you become a higher risk. Oh. So what's the way out of this? Many things, but I will stick to one that is extracted from a hadith from the Prophet ﷺ, which is reported by uh, Imam Muslim. He said, وسلم, a strong believer is better and dearer to Allah than a weak believer, although there is goodness in both. Imam Al Qurtubi, may Allah have mercy on him, said that. The, the strength here that is referred to in the hadith uh, is referring to one's willpower, determination, uh, his uh, ability to perform acts of worship, his strong body and health, and him utilizing the worldly means. And I'll get to this after explaining the term, although there is goodness in both of them. Why is that? Although one is better and dearer and closer to Allah, it's because they both uh, believe and they both perform the acts of worship. So this common thing between them make them both have goodness, it, but it varies from one to the other. Now, let's go back to the healthy body and, uh, and uh, strong body and utilizing the means. Uh, over and again, we've repeated that we must utilize means and uh, stick and adhere to the instructions given per the country that you're in. Uh, and this is something that the Prophet ﷺ, uh, is telling us. It improves, makes you stronger, makes you draw closer to Allah a stronger body, a healthy body, as we stated in the introduction of this short clip, it will enhance your immune system. It will change your mood. It will make you happier. As psychologists say, it makes you happier when you become stronger. How do you achieve this? This is my message for you today. Exercise. Whether it is... Uh, push-ups, sit-ups, whatever, pull-ups, anything. You have uh, a treadmill, uh, elliptical machine, anything that you have. If you have a standalone villa or house that, that has a, a yard that you can walk in, then do so. Exercise, people. Exercise, it will improve your, uh, your mood. It will make you feel better about yourself. It will break the rhythm that you're in that enclosed being at home uh, doing nothing but either work or whatever else you're doing, it will change your lifestyle, it will add something better to you uh, and to your style, and it will make you a better father, husband, because your mood is going to improve. I know it's stressful, especially with those who have young children, it becomes uh, disturbing because the man especially is not used to that. He's used to going out and coming back later uh, after many hours have been uh, spent outside the house. We need to persevere. Remember, this is the Qadr of Allah Azza wa Jal. No fear is, is, uh, is needed. Don't panic. Don't become paranoid. Everyone is, is uh, predestined for whatever is, he's going to face in this life. And the, the time when we have to depart this life is also uh, predestined. So let's trust in Allah Azza wa Jal and utilize means. Become stronger people. Let's exercise. This is the message for today. Assalamu alaikum.